How can an oil-based economy be competitive in the global market once it runs out of its natural resources? Trinidad and Tobago has set an agenda to diversify away from the oil and gas sector and embrace the multiplicity of its economic potential. One of its bets is in the information technology enabled services sector, the ITES sector, where the country has major advantages. From web design and animation to cybersecurity and business process outsourcing, huge productivity dividends await. To reap these profits, the Ministry of Planning, with the Inter-American Development Bank support, decided to invest in skills development for ITES in an innovative way. Instead of investing in training programs that are entirely customized by the government, they created Skills for Global Services, an initiative that puts businesses at the driver's seat of the skills agenda. The Skills for Global Services initiative incentivized employers to partner with colleges or training providers to design a skills development project with a value proposition that benefited the whole economy. What I love about this Global Services initiative is that it is focused on the youth. It brings together businesses that have a certain demand and ensures that the training connects to those businesses. Cybersecurity attacks they're getting more prevalent as we, as we conduct online transactions and business, and threats are getting more and more sophisticated. So there is a, a global market for services and professionals in the area of cybersecurity skills. The Asian industry is quite saturated in a way um, with a lot of well-established um, industries in the US, in, the, in Europe, in Asia. So to make the Caribbean and Trinidad and Tobago really stand out. We have to find a unique way in which we can um, bring eyes towards us. The interesting thing about this Global Skills Initiative for me is that it allows us to bridge a gap. Over the years through the festival we've seen a gap where students are coming out of secondary and tertiary level education but they're not quite ready for what the workforce requires. Cool Arts is trying to position itself as the key player in the region for video game outsource development work. Um, currently there's no outsourcing of that kind of work to the Caribbean region and we want Cool Arts to be the first to capitalize on that industry and bring it and spread it throughout the region. We intend to now bring fundamental digital media skills to 150 young people in these six rural communities in Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, our intent is to train them at a level that they can now uh, be at the entry level for jobs as story writers, um, videographers, and also editors and in sound and video. This experience underscores an important lesson a well-prepared workforce is a key ingredient for a country's economic success. This more modern approach to skills policy can be a game-changer in a country's economic agenda.